front steer, four wheel steer, crab steer, all the kind of steering. What about rear steer? Can it be effective to use just rear steer on the trail and in the rocks? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna show you guys the truck I will be using and then we're gonna hit it outside. Take a look. This is my class three competition truck, Mjolnir. It's got Reese Servos 777 in the front, 777 in the back, Reese rear sway bar, got a 99 micro here, got a Holmes Hobbies Magnum 540 11 turn, Holmes BRXL ESC. It's got Team Garage Hat wheels with a complete with a missing bolt I just found out. Um, the Proline uh, flat iron XL tires. Uh, it's a full capper drive line into a Team Garage Hat chassis with the full Optimus bundle. So also, DSM integrated recovery kit, kinetic. That thing works great. So guys, we're ready to get this thing powered up on 3S. And I go drive some rear steer. So you're on the trail. This is obviously a big wide trail for this thing, but eh, rear steer is not bad. But on them rocks, it's gonna be a little different. <laughs> At least I can get some donuts, huh? To the rocks it is! Now to make this work, I've got to position the front end way ahead of time. Because, you know, you're used to steering the front beforehand. Or when you get up onto something, you're used to having the front ready to go. Now the good news is, when you're backing up, it's like uh, you're driving forwards now. The thing is, getting that front end to go over without the back falling off like what I've got right here. And notice the front is pushing over quite a bit. And I'm gonna and the more I try to position this, the worse it's getting. I might be able to clear it though. Maybe. <laughs> I'm impressed so far. <laughs> oh. So you gotta get the back over. Get the front in position. <laughs> this is not bad. <laughs> Whole different way of driving, though. All right. I mean, I've been on the trail and in a few competitions where I lose the rear steering. Uh, strip servo gear or something along the lines of that. And with that back end just flopping around left and right, it just doesn't work out very well. And that wasn't bad. Climb time is one of the toughest obstacles we have here. I say we, one of the toughest obstacles here at the Exoflex. And uh, I seriously don't see me getting up it with this. really surprised if I could somehow manage to crawl climb time it's looking it's actually up on it oh <laughs> you gotta be kidding me I don't think I've ever done this in front steering oh wow <laughs> that was awesome <laughs> was not expecting that. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get the get it to climb up on. I got to get. Want to bring it down? Fall time. Let's see what we got here. All right, we're coming up on it. Oh boy! Now let's ease it, ease it, ease it. Ah, uh, got the hook and right on down. Wow. Surely this thing can't make it through the nasty. 
that would just be impossible because the back end is going to fall down way down low the front end is just simply going to follow all the way down like this I'm going to have to bring the back end out of bounds and the front all together so we got here wow he's backing up is like forward way out of bounds here oh god there we go okay so now we're kind of oh man that back end's got to come way down now i will be amazed oh boy yeah i gotta get way off of it for there But, I mean, I can't complain, really. I can't complain. I mean, sure, I had to get off course about 17,000 times, but made it. <laughs> See what we got going up here. I think this is something that if you really wanted to drive like this, you can totally get used to it. I mean, not being able to steer the front is not something I would want to go into a competition, you know, with that kind of a handicap. But. Oh. But it does appear that. If I can get back on course here. I end up in the same situation not being able to turn the front up on this one Let's see if we can just take it up the easy side here Let's see if we can bring it up uh, yeah definitely going to have to have some positioning because I am just all kinds of messed up right now <laughs> Might as well try a ridge line. Uh, oh. I can't get the front. Got to gotta get the front over and position the front a lot more. Oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> All right. I got it. <laughs> that was an awesome save, too. <laughs> and we're just on some typical rock trails here versus obstacles. Really got to think ahead when you're driving like this for sure. You can't. You got to think earlier than normal, I would have to say. Let's try this. Impressive. Gonna keep it on where it's got to be here because you got to watch that back end. It'll swing off. Oh boy. Oh, looks like I'm gonna be able to keep it on. But I don't have much turn to go. And, ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Didn't quite get that one. This right here is gonna be a challenge. Don't have a lot of area to really turn the back. Yeah. 
Not going to make that corner at all right there. Nope. In the real tight areas like what we're seeing here, it is definitely proving to not work out so well. Keep the front on. The peaks, though, I think we may be halfway decent here to continue the drive. And Oh, boy. Now that portal is giving me extra clearance in the back. Oh, I just went off. All right, so let me see here. I fell off again. See that? <laughs> that back axle had enough clearance to not get hung up on that. Oh boy. About to get messed up here, aren't I? Oh! There we go, but I am totally messed up on making this corner. Rear steer only did way better than I thought. Now, general trail work, not a problem at all. Um, in most of the rocks, just free running, not a problem at all. When you get to a tight area, not being able to position that front end and let the back end follow, you know, having to use the back end over to get around and move stuff, that's where you could have an issue, like on the wood stuff that we saw. Um, the fact that it made it up climb time was amazing. I don't think this vehicle has ever successfully climbed climb time. I don't believe so. And I went up with four wheel steer, front steer only. Never tried it with rear steer only, uh, except for today. And it did it. That was awesome. Um, I love how when you take these trucks I'm building, you drop off, you just let that back tire hang the, hang the edge, boom, hangs it, and then you just drive on down. I like that. Now on the nasty, um, it did better than I thought, but pretty much no chance of staying in bounds. And I could probably try it over and over and over again and just waste a bunch of time and end up the same result. Um, not having that front end, I could turn and get up on the stuff. Uh, not very good there. So would I build a vehicle just rear steer only? No. Um, it was neat to try. And I think if I ever... The front server ever locks up or if I got to lock it out or something, you know, I think I can get by with rear steer only now. So I was kind of surprised about that. But anyway, guys, in that description, I will link up all the stuff on the truck, all that, servos, everything. So make sure you guys use those links. They are affiliate links from Aiming, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. They help out the channel when you guys use them. So um, if you need a part or piece, it happens to be what I'm showing. Links are below. So guys, check that description, use those links, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys... Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.